Howdy folks, have a couple of unboxings or unpackagings I guess you'd say, uh, try to make this quick and painless. Let's, uh, let's do this one first, from uh, Condor and Topps Knives. Yep, do the Condor first. <laughs> okay. Well, what we have here are two of the same knife. So let's check them out. This is the Condor Low Drag Fixed Blade. Nice leather sheath. It's got a ferrule rod holder, 5 16 ferrule rod holder. I don't know if any of you guys seen this design before. I won't go too much into it. Oh, check the camera out, make sure I'm in, in frame. Now I got two of the same knife because one is for me, of course. And one is for when I get 500 subs. I got 161 subs uh, this morning. And when I get 500, one of these is going to be given away. So, so there's that. <laughs> this is, uh, I got this because it, I forgot to bring it out. But I got these because it reminded me of my... Uh, BPS Adventure, same 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 handles uh, style, same blade shape, pretty much. This is just a lot more heavier duty. Um, the Adventure is nice; <clears throat> it came really sharp, but I just needed something just a little bit more stout and a little bit more, as uh, Donovan too would say, something that's got a little more meat and titers to it. So. <laughs> I've been looking at this for a while and decided to go for it. Now I see that there are some scratches. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, some scratches on this one. I notice there's a little bit of an inclusion there. I thought it was a hair, but it's not. It's uh, that right there. It's actually a D-lamb in the steel. Came fairly sharp. Now I'm looking at these. <clears throat> and that's the thing about Condor. You can get the same knife. And they're not going to be exactly the same. As I'm looking. This one has some buff marks. Scratches need some buff marks on it too. Ooh. And that's pretty dull. That's duller than this one. This one's sharp. This one's dull. So I'm going to have to get some Mother's Mag and some polish and polish that up. But it doesn't. I don't see any D-lambs in the steel on this. So that's good. And it has a wider blade on this one as I'm looking at it right now. Let's see if I can pick that up. The bottom one here has more of a belly and it's wider. As you can see. So, yeah, they're not exactly the same. Uh, though I'll probably give this one, we'll sharpen this up real nice and give this one away for my 500 subscription 500 subscription and draw names out of a hat something simple i'll keep this one because of the d lamb i don't want to give somebody something that may fail it doesn't look like that's gone into the steel too far but yeah i don't want to give something away that that might harm or break or malfunction but that they used to feel really good in the hand um Nice swell there. Doesn't have any side swells. All straight, but that's okay. Nice thumb, thumb cutouts there. Thumb and finger. Don't know what those are for. Maybe just aesthetics, probably. Full tang. I'll be uh, carrying this on my hip for for a little while. A low drag. So, yeah. So that'll be my five hundred subs subscriber giveaway right there okay let's open this other one 
three JRB Feldspar. This is a Tops. Frog Market Special XL. Now I've wanted one of these. They make a uh, they make them in tandem. There's a smaller version too with an orange micarta handle. Oh yeah, by the way, these are linen micarta handles on the Condor low drags. Very comfortable, very smooth, uh, and and but grippy at the same time. I, I'm really liking this so far, right out of the package. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's get this uh, Frog Market Special. I, like I was saying, I wanted one of these ever since I seen uh, uh, the one Eric Hussein had, had got. He got them in tandem, uh, gifted to him by Captain Electro. And I'll put a link in the uh, description showing Eric Hussein. Uh, did I just say, just say that? Did I just mention Eric Hussein? I don't know. But uh, Eric Hussein had uh, uh, has a, ten, a couple of these, uh, the, the XL and the smaller one, gifted to him by Captain Electro, like I just said. Comes with the uh, Topps Knives whistle. <whistles> Sounds like a British uh, uh, policeman's uh, whistle, don't it? Hello, stop, stop! <whistles> if you keep using this profanity, I'll be forced to thrash you. <whistles> so, cool. Cool whistle. Green micarta, linen micarta handles. It's got the uh, liners, white liners in there. Now I've looked all over for these knives and I finally found a company out of Ohio. I think they're Ohio. I can't remember what they're called as, or as of yet right now. Um, that has them. And, uh, ooh. Wow, that is shizarp right there, son, <laughs> as Scab would say. That's sharp, son. That's about the sharpest knife besides the, the Adventurer. This is second to it, the sharpest knife I've gotten out of a box so far. I've wanted these since, uh, since I seen Eric show his. And I've looked all over for the smaller one. It's got orange linen micarta, or micarta that looks like that. This color. And nobody has them. You can't, and maybe a, a, Europe, a company in Europe I might have seen. But if anybody has uh, seen these for sale, the smaller version, uh, leave it in the comments because I definitely want it. Uh, as I'm looking at this, there are some, in this coating on the blade, there are some little, let's see if I can get that, little bubbles, not bubbles, but they're not scraping off, so they're little, like dust was in the uh, air and landed on there when they were coating it. Both sides got it. Eric, I don't know if you, let me know if you got those too, just, just checking. But that's not a deal breaker, no no big deal, but I wish they weren't there. But I sure like this knife. Nice Kydex sheath. Good good wrap around belt fastener there, belt clip. As you can see. And get that in focus. So yeah, that, that looks like it's going to hold well. But like I said, I'm looking for the smaller one too. If, so if anybody can find it or just shoot me a shoot me something in the comments and let me know. So yeah, buddy. All right, I'll try to make this short and sweet. This is the one I'll be giving away. So um, I got 461 subscribers as of this morning. So once we get to 500, some lucky pup's going to get this bad boy. So tell all your friends, tell your family, Carl Ruger has a dang uh, YouTube channel. Subscribe, show the, show the old boy some support, some love. So 
There you have it. God, family, friends, and country.